beautiful small town. Most mornings in Kotzebue, Alaska are pretty quiet. It's too early to check the fishing nets, too weeks early to pick salmon berries. Lots of interesting things going on and at the same time lots of nothing going on. Today though, <laughs> we all want to see the band. Today will be different. That's Johnny and Robbie and Mike. And if you don't watch MTV, they go by the name the Goo Goo Dolls. Thank you very much. It's Google Dolls. It feels good. It's really cool. And when they first heard what they're coming, I didn't believe it at all because this is Katsubu. <laughs> They've toured the world, and now, to the delight of most every teenager in the village, they're going to spend the day in Katsubu. A lot of the adults were excited, but they didn't. They didn't really know who they were. This is the most incredible experience <laughs> that I've ever had. The band did not come alone. A TV and sound crew is also here, taping everything for an upcoming MTV show called Music in High Places. The band is spending three days in Alaska for the show. In Lake Charles, Johnny sang on an iceberg. In the Chugach Range, the band played on a glacier. It was so interesting you know, that, that it looked fake. Now this is actually the one state we've never been to. Interviews need to be done for the it's MTV so show. Big. We're all supposed to keep very quiet, of course. Not everyone is interested in keeping quiet, though. That's a snow machine, and it's news to Robbie, who's originally from Buffalo, New York, that if that guy stalls, he's going to get wet. Really? Really? It's on a track. With Mike on a stripped-down drum kit, Robbie on an acoustic bass, and guest guitarist Greg Saran, the band does a bridge-top performance for the cameras, while we, again, all keep very quiet. It was cool to watch, I'm told, even cooler to get an autograph. Now, how do you know what I wrote? It might be kick me, you know, you don't know. <laughs> You're just going to have to trust me. <laughs> the Village performs for the band, and later the band performs for the Village. It's not the first time teenage girls have taken up the first three rows of a concert. I'm also told Johnny is the cute one. Yeah. yeah. County, I'll be counting one, two, three, up. The first three pulls got to be slow and easy, or the jumper won't lose their balance. And on the fourth pull, you lean forward and lean back. That'll send the jumper up into the air. With dance mitts and mucklucks, Lena Hensley shows the band a traditional blanket toss. <laughs> and with a little prodding, Robbie the bass player, the only member of the band to try whale and seal meat, decides to give the blanket toss a try. What was that like? It was like being tossed 40 feet in the air or something. It was crazy. No, the craziest thing is, once you're up, it's like you're super high in the air. Oh my god! I wasn't that high, was I? <laughs> More than once, Johnny, the lead singer, has said he hates taking time off. The band is on tour all summer. But after three days north of the lower 48, Johnny said he would vacation in Alaska. We know one village he'd be very welcome. Jeffrey Hope, Channel 2 News.